Welcome back, folks. Thanks for joining me again. Everybody has their own favorite ships in World of Warship, and my top of the list has always been the Fiji, the Tier 7 a Royal Navy Cruiser. In my opinion, where it sits, it's just, it's the perfect Predator. <clears throat> All right, so this is going to be a domination match on the map hot spot. It is a Tier 8 fight, so we're sitting right mid-tier. The enemy team has two Yorks and two Pensacolas, as well as four uh, four destroyers. Now, those are all going to be prey for us in a Fiji. Something to note, though, as you're playing the Fiji, you do have great maneuverability, good speed, awesome acceleration and deceleration, but um, you do have soft sides. If you show Citadel, you will get punished. Absolutely. <clears throat> so we spawned on the east. We have a Leon, a uh, Prince Idol Friedrich, and at the time of this recording, this thing has just come out. So you can see in the chat there, there's a little bit of uh, discussion about you know paying for it to get it ahead of time versus uh, doing the grind to get it. I, I've, I've reviewed it. I'm not really a battleship guy. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. I'm not going to go out of my way for it. Um, but uh, I hear it's, it's, it's pretty good at Tier 6, and it's got great AA. But uh, just remember, you know, this, those people that pay for, for the ships are the ones that allow the rest of us to play for free. So, yeah, I'll, more to them, more power to them. All right, so I've decided that I'm going to follow this Kagero and go into D, give him some support. There's plenty of island cover in D. We're not spotted at this time. Kind of trying to decide, do I want to head in directly behind the Kagero, or do I want to take cover behind this large island? So I'm going to just kind of hang out here. The Royal Navy cruisers and destroyers have a baked-in uh, acceleration module. So you can accelerate and decelerate very rapidly. So I'm just going to keep feathering the throttle just a little bit, just to keep a little bit of my momentum going, get my gun swung around this way. What you're going to find in most matches, especially domination matches, the destroyers are going to run for the caps first. And you can see uh, the Kagero is taking D. And usually the cruisers are going to follow right in behind the destroyers. But because the cruisers have much larger detection range, the, the, the destroyers will be right in front of you. You won't see them. It's the cruisers that you're going to see first. And they're going to be your first targets most of the time. So if you're in an American cruiser and you see that the Kagro has stopped ca capping D, that means that, and see, there you go, there's Pensacola. Uh, if if you're in a cruiser, uh, you may want to go, or even in a battleship, you may want to preload your armor piercing to deal with the cruisers to begin with. Now, Royal Navy, it doesn't really matter because all I have is beautiful armor piercing, short fuse armor piercing. And we're going to throw some of that in this Pensacola up here. We're going to start heading toward this island, being mindful that there are probably going to be torpedoes in the water. I am detected because I'm firing my guns, targeted by a few folks. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to pop smoke screen, keep throwing out shots on this Pensacola because the aggro is spotting it for us now that he's fired. But uh, just being mindful that uh, there is another DD. We, we know that the DD is in the cap. We're going to pull up behind the island to kind of screen us from any torpedoes that may be coming. I'm also going to be considering it there's the Moss right there. We knew he was around somewhere. Well, we knew it was a destroyer. Now we know it's the Moss. Throw some right across his bow. Try to line up these next shots a little bit better. The Fiji can absolutely devastate. You can see it's a torpedo warning indicator going off. Here those were those torpedoes being launched. Um, yeah, the Fiji can absolutely devastate an, an enemy destroyer. There's the Moss's torpedoes coming in. Really no danger. Anytime you're sitting in a smoke screen, though, you're really going to want to consider uh, activating Hydro. And that's whether you're in a cruiser that has smoke, if you're in a, a DD that has access to Hydro. You know, you use that hydro to your advantage. Draw some shots here on the uh, on the Roma coming in. Roma's a strong ship itself. You really don't want to be on the receiving end of these guns. Bouncing a lot of shells, shattering a lot of shells, not getting very many pins. I'm starting to aim for the superstructure. 
and still not doing too well against it. Okay, here comes Farragut, right in at us at 2.7 kilometers. He's engaging the Kagero. Not even sure if he knows that we're here, but he's about to. There we go. Let's light him up. Keep moving, though. We do not want to receive his torpedoes. His torpedoes would wreck our name, but boom goes the dynamite. Down he goes, and we lose the Kagero to the Farragut's torps. Pensacola shows back up, so we're going to start throwing out some shells on him. We are detected. Not sure if it's going to be the Moss that sees us or not, as the Roma heads in against the Prince Idol Friedrich. Now, the Friedrich is moving. If you look at the mini-map, the Friedrich is moving north and west. That Roma's coming right into where we want him to be. We're going to throw out torps on where we think that the Roma's heading to. But the Moss was heading around the corner as well, so we want to make sure we don't pull a Nonser. As the Moss comes back into view, we're going to come around and start opening up on him. See if we can't deal with the Moss. Look at those 152s. Lovely. And he's just going to barely miss our torpedo. That's okay. It denied him an avenue of escape, so it forced him to go, uh, to go east. So we know that he's going to now be running around the corner of this island to try to escape me. Lieberich Moss is a pretty good ship. Very dangerous. Good guns. Decent torpedoes. Not the best torpedoes. But it has access to German Hydra. Alright, now the Roma's coming around. You can look from his indicate, his lead indicator and the, the torpedo lead indicator there that he's turning. So we don't want to fire our guns just yet. He's coming around the corner. Uh, yeah. He's already dealt with our... Um, oh, man, that, did, that hurt. He's already dealt with our Prince Idol Friedrich. Friedrich didn't do too much on him, but we're going to come around. We're going to slow down a bit coming around this corner. We don't want to eat a face full of his, uh, his big guns, but we do want to put these torpedoes on him. Now, anticipate him slowing down. See him slowing down. We're going to throw... Torps just to the left. We're going to spin around. Our torps got him good, but didn't finish him. It's a tough ship. So we're going to give him the starboard salvo as well. Again, throw just behind the torpedo lead indicator. And this should happen. And those secondaries made us up a little bit. But we were able to put some secondaries on him. Here comes the Pensacola. We're going to conduct a tactical beaching, as Nonser calls them. Four penetrations on the Pensacola. We're going to put out smoke. The Leon is going to spot for us here. We're going to go ahead and activate our Hydra, because that Moss is around still. We don't want to catch any torpedoes in our smoke screen. And yeah, like I said, anytime you, you go into smoke screen, if you have access to Hydro, you, you want to use it. It'll help protect you against torpedoes. And sometimes, especially if you have access to German Hydro in a smoke screen, uh, you can detect on a good Citadel, sub, seven pins. Uh, if you have access to German Hydro in a smoke screen, you can detect ships and remain undetected yourself. So it's very, very helpful. So we're finally going to take this cap. I mean, we fought half this battle, and we're finally going to get the cap. And here it comes, as you can see the Pensacola launching its fighter, trying to get spotting on us. <laughs> Looks like the Leon just shot him down. That's good. Now we are spotted. There's the Pensacola. Put out some shots on him, try to get some citadels. Four pins. That's okay. We are detected. Uh, looks like the York out to the west is detecting us. Pensacola's big guns firing at us. If those would have hit, they would have hurt really bad. <clears throat> Coming around the corner. Oh, we see the Moss first. All right, so we're going to take some shots out on this Moss and then try to finish off this Pensacola. The Moss is, Moss is putting out his smoke screen. Now, I do not want to turn toward him. Ah, it looks like the Leon finished him off. But we did get a Citadel on him. Okay. So now we're in a predicament. That Moss has German Hydra. And looks like he's just outside of Hydra range, or he doesn't have his Hydra up. My Hydra just shut down. 
So he's in a situation where he's sitting in his smoke. If I charge his smoke, he's going to see me first, and he's going to probably gun me down or torpedo me. So I don't want to charge his smoke. In fact, I'm going to back up. I see to the west that spotter plane went up. That means that that York is up there. And if you see where the spotter plane is circling, the York's going to be in the middle of that circle. So sometimes putting up a spotter plane will give, give your position away. So my smoke, my smoke screen is coming off cooldown. The York is in well within gun range. I'm going to deploy smoke and I'm going to open up on this York instead of chasing after the Leon. Or instead of chasing after the Moss. If you look at the, uh, look at the, the mini map, the Leon is pushing that Moss. I don't know if I would have done that. As a battleship, that's not necessarily a wise thing to do. Now, the Moss looks like he probably ran out the back side of his smoke screen. So he's probably anticipating me rushing him, which, yeah, I wasn't about to do that. That would not be conducive to me finishing out this match. Okay, York is on fire. I'm going to continue to put out shots on him. It's been great teamwork on this. Our, our, our team has done really well. One more salvo out, and that should kill him. And down he goes. Kill number three. Yeah, it looks like the Moss, he's over in B-cap now. So we're going to head out here and try to help out the Leon. But the Leon is, yeah, the Leon is taking some strong shots on him. The guy's not going to last. Uh, he's about done. And that's the end of the game. We'll see you post-credits. Good run. Now that was just an enjoyable game. I had a lot of fun for that. Uh, just got the job done, you know. All right, so we picked up the victory. 215,000 credits, 3,500 experience, 194 free experience. Dealt 108,648 damage. 149 shells on target with 87 of them being penetrations. A lot of ricochets. Uh, let's see, five torpedoes. That was a lot of fun. Uh, two incapacitations, three destroyed. Eh, just missed out on a fourth. Uh, four floods. That's not bad. Those British torpedoes will cause a flood. Five torps with four floods. That's good. Two citadels, three cap defenses, one assisted cap, and seven secondary hits. Take a peek at the leaderboard here. We did pick up MVP in that game by a solid lead. 2,300 base experience. Detailed report there. Wrecked that Roma. Uh, finished off the York there. <laughs> Ambushed that Farragut. That was a lot of fun. That was a good start. Yeah, we should have had that Pensacola. And that Moss. I think it was a good idea not to engage around the corner on that Moss. So, majority of our damage was with the main battery, but we did do 42,000 worth of damage from the torpedoes. Set four floods, but Torps finished them off, so no damage from the floods. Uh, 266,400 potential damage. Spotted four Torps, 45 out of 120 capture points, and 22 out of 26 defense points came from us. And take a peek at the credits and XP. We're going to bring home 104,860 credits. Not bad. Not, not bad for a Tier 7 fight. You know, the higher the tiers go, the more expensive they get. And I am running premium consumables, so yeah. Not bad. All right, folks. Well, thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you in-game.